bit of a pain and you know what to do it at all. Oh, okay. Okay. So what's this? This is a bag I bought on the internet. You can look for them yourself. Sprouts. They're not just any old sprouts. They're coniferous sprouts for broccoli, because broccoli is apparently coniferous. Ooh. It's a coniferous plant. And the thing about the sprouts is, here they are my crude holder you know i like these uh youtube channels and they show these magnificent metal holders but i've got my plastic cruddy there um and uh, this is part of the process this uh, draining like this because what you need to do take a jar like a sprouting jar you can actually look for that just type in sprouting jar, easy. And uh, cut you this type actually from nowrealfood.com uh, is comes with even a little uh, pamphlet giving you recipes, all the information. And the, the amazing thing about this is that they contain phytonutrients. There's a special phytonutrient called sulforaphane. Sulfur and this contains 100 times more sulforaphane than broccoli, the actual adult plant, the sprouts. And to make these sprouts, to get to this stage, you don't need soil and you don't need sunlight. So it's pretty special and it's pretty amazing. It's basically balcony, windowsill, home, flat inside of a flat without a garden gardening 101 what? so you'll see the loads of these videos i'm just showing you mine so what's so good about these uh this uh sulforaphane this is a a, a major it's, it's containing chemical it's a chemical compound So furafane is a chemical compound which gives amazing health benefits. And a few moments later. And in 1997, Professor Talale, or Talale, who worked with John Hopkins, demonstrated a very high levels of cancer protection with this specific phytonutrient. They try to get a patent on it with this with this stuff. They try to patent it. They try to, get, uh, and I'll put the information in the description because they couldn't because yeah, it's made from nature. Nature created it, so you can't pat patent. You can't get a patent on it. Um, but they tried to, and they failed. And uh, it's got documentation of it, and I'll link it in the description below. So the animal studies they did uh, showed really high effectiveness against cancer and one of the reasons for that is because it induces carc carcinogen yeah, detox detoxifying enzymes that's a mouthful carcinogen detoxifying enzymes basically neutralize the actual cells and also it causes apoptosis so that's two things it's doing the second one is selective apoptosis. Uh, it's a condition where the cancer cells actually commit suicide. So, I mean, I had to write all of this down and I'll actually link a video to another YouTuber, like a, this doctor guy who is explaining it very in, in detail. But here I'm just gonna go into, you can look for these online, just sprouts broccoli sprouts you, you know just type in broccoli sprouts for goodness sake um and they have these packs they have kits they have because it's a well-known process it's a, a easy process they even have these jars made specially with all the informations 
there's just an example. I mean, you know, you've got, even got uh, uh, there like this now realfood.com. Uh, you've got the uh, recipes in here. You've got the method. So, for example, we're going to do broccoli seeds. Uh, it tells you how much, tells you the yield, tells you the day, how many times you've got to rinse every day. It tells you um, how many days is for, four days. This is my fourth day now of doing this. You rinse it three times a day. But what I'm going to show you first is how to, to start it off. And actually, I'm, as well, I'm in this uh, video, I'm going to show you what you do with the result, which is this is the end result, but you, you've got these seeds in it, you want to get them away. And there's a specific way to get rid of them. Um, but we'll deal with that later. First, all you need to do is open your sprouting thing. One tablespoon. And get a tablespoon. And one table, so the packet says one tablespoon, but you know what? I like to be a bit cheeky and I like to put two. That's just the way I roll. That's, this one here had two. The mascot, a cheeky little monkey, goes to shake hands with Gerard and then gives it that. You don't want to put, do, do too much because, well, it depends really, because actually there's also been shown, somebody also did some research, I can't remember who, but you can uh, look up this yourself, uh, do a bit of research. If you take this and you've taken the seeds away from it, and you freeze it, it actually, um, it, it, it increases the, the amount of uh, pho, photo, phytonutrients. And also it's like a second, when you break the frozen uh, sprouts, it, it's releasing those phytonutrients all over again, the, the um, sulfurophane. Uh, and it's reintroducing it's it, it, this this special compound this this cancer beating compound it's neutralizing and de detoxifying enzymes so so stage one we've put this in uh, I'll put two spoons in that's gonna create this much this amount well it did for me. And then we just fill this up with, we fill this up with water. Lid on. And now we leave it like this anywhere inside for eight hours with bro with this type with broccoli seeds with the uh, yeah eight hours so just put on your alarm clock put on your stopwatch put on your timer whatever you have eight hours so just find some random corner in your flat and place that for eight hours. So now with this, we're going to do what I consider to be the fun part, which is harvesting your um, bounty. <laughs> no, it's harvesting well, your, your yield. So I'm going to harvest your yield of sprouts here. Got these magnificent metal bowls, multi purpose. I recommend. I 
recommend. So, plonk in your uh, sprouts and you'll see there's some seeds. You don't want those seeds, you want to get rid of those seeds. How do you get rid of those seeds, you might ask. Well, I'll show you. Fill this with water. And what you can probably see is the seeds will float to the surface. And what you want to do, you just take your hand and take them out like that. Or you can take a spoon, take off the seeds. So, takes a little bit of time, be patient. A few moments later. Then you want to get, I've got a little mini bowl, this came in a set. So I've got another little bowl here. So then what I'll do, I'll get this metal bowl, or you can use just a clean tea towel. Got a snazzy one there. Uh, you, you can use it if you really want to, you can use both. And then I'll just fish out the sprouts onto there. You know, the seeds, the seed casings, not like a major issue. You can see that there are no seeds there. I'm just fishing out the sprouts there. Or some seeds that are not floating to the surface. These obviously haven't sprouted. I don't know why. So I'm not gonna tell you why that's happened. But you can actually use those ones that are, have gone to the bottom, take them, and put them back in to a sprouting job. Just gonna let it dry in there. Um, you really don't need a bowl at this stage actually. You could just put it flat out and let it dry. If you've got a clean tea towel, you really also don't have to worry about a hygiene issue. Just put it out like so, so it dries faster like that. I'm gonna dry it up. When it's dried up, we're gonna put it in the fridge and it's ready. And any sprouts that have fallen to the wayside, you can eat. So later on, I'm gonna put them in that metal bowl, that small metal bowl I was talking about. And just to show that I'm not lying, here I have those unsprouted seeds. They're going straight back in to the seeds we prepared earlier. Some people will say, oh, we'll put them in separate. You don't, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Put these back in my little dark space shelf. So then the final part of this is just after it's dry, you take it from wherever you're drying it, you know, towel, gently drying it, not like over the top drying. You don't have to, <laughs> you know, dehydrate it or anything. Just so you get all that excess water off and you just take it from there and you just plonk it in a bowl, plast it up. And uh, from there, it's ready to go into the fridge and you just take it, you mix it with your salad. You take, mm. 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 Mmm, mm, yummy. Very nice. And if you're going to freeze them, just put them in a freezer bag. Put about so much. A little, little parcel so they don't take up too much space. Just freeze it. 
and uh, when you want to use it again, you take it out and you break, and that's producing these, and that's producing these proto-nutrients, proto, pro and that's producing more of this sulfurophane. Et voila, you have a, um, cru a um, cruciferous sprouts with 100 times the sulfurophane of the adult broccoli and cauliflower of the plant. And it's tasty, goes in salads, and it's got vitamins and minerals and all the rest of it as well. So it's like a little superfood. And with that, I bid you a farewell.